Beautiful. Check that out. Thing works awesome. You can see how much of a difference the air makes. Hey there, this is just a quick vid to show you a steel can air fueled rocket stove. All right, so I'm going to start by cutting this can. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and cut the hole in the side for the air inlet in the tuna can. Then just bend this back. And when you get that just right, it'll slip right in there. Alright, here's a close up of how it looks under the tuna can. We're just going to drill a bunch of holes in the bottom of this, but that'll be the air inlet. kind of scatter them. Alright, now I just have to drill the holes here and here for the two cans. Okay, you want to put the fuel feed tube about this high the height of the tuna can so it'll match when we put it all together but just score the line and we'll cut the hole Alright, now we're just going to pop this out. Just use pliers like this, grab in between the sections. Alright, you can see it doesn't fit yet, but I'm going to go ahead and smooth this out, and then the can will pop right in. There it is. Okay, now I'm going to mark off and drill the hole for the air inlet on the side. Alright, now just work this around to get it where you need it. 
All right, so there's the inside. All right, now that we got it like this, just drop the tuna can in over the air inlet. Okay, the hardest part is done now. Now you just drop in the stack and add the gravel. Okay, when you're ready to add the dirt, it should look basically like this. Alright, got the dirt added. Kind of a dirt gravel mix. Now I just got to remove the tin foil. Throw the burner assembly on the top. Fire it up. Let's see how much that matters.